Hey what's up, I hope you're doing well and welcome back to the channel. In this video, I wanted to share with you all 14 locations of the different iconic weapon blueprints that can be found around Rebirth Island since its reinforced update with Season 2 Reloaded. All of these blueprints are static, and what I mean by static is that they can be found in the same location of the map every single game that you play on Rebirth Island. Now unlike the Red Room Milano blueprint that can be found in the original Golden Vault, these cannot be unlocked for your armory, but are rather static items that can be found around the map to add different strategies and to allow for different plays that you could make during the game, mainly when you're first dropping in. It's worth noting that these blueprints aren't the only static items that can be found around the map now. Obviously if you've been watching the channel, you'll know that there are three different key cards that can be found in the same place each game, which when you take them to the, the correct locker, you can unlock some top tier loot. If you didn't know about those, I'll link my location video for it in the pinned comment below. As well as the key cards, I've also noticed that in the basement level of this yellow building in the living quarters area, you'll always find a bag of $8,000 cash, which will allow you to get a loadout straight away. And in the second floor bathroom of the sniper tower building and headquarters, you'll find that a self revive will always spawn here on the sink, so if you die straight away from a hot drop, you'll be able to re-land here and grab yourself a free self res. Now jumping back over to the static weapon blueprints, let's take a look at where they can all be found. So like I mentioned earlier, there's the red room blueprint that can be found within the original golden vault, just on the main table in the middle. There are three sniper rifles, the feral HDR that can be found leaning up against this pipe on top of the water tower, the tower car 98 blueprint that can be found leaning against the wall on top of the sniper tower and headquarters, and also the wake up call blueprint for the Swiss that can be found on top of this cabinet in the new tower within the stronghold area. There's the denominator blueprint for the stoner LMG that can be found in this sink within the showers area of the bioweapons lab. The silent death bullfrog can be found resting up against this crate in the underground tunnel between chemical and decon. And also on the lowest level of the chemical weapons area, you'll find this R90 shotgun blueprint just sitting on top of this crate. The cross multiply MAC-10 blueprint can be found on top of this filing cabinet at the bottom of the control center building. In the prison courtyard area on top of these sheets of plywood, you can find the puncture wound nail gun blueprint. Also in the prison area, you can find the brutalizer street sweeper blueprint. And on top of the toolbox in this room on the roof of prison, you'll find the spoiled rotten blueprint for the Bruin. In the basement area of this blue building in the living quarters area, you'll find the Shadow Realm AMAX blueprint, which is the building next to the room I mentioned earlier with the bag of $8,000. The Buzzkiller MP5 blueprint can be found leaning up against this communications tower in the middle of the tents area. Laying on the edge of this platform area, overlooking Stronghold, you'll find the Piercing Strike DMR blueprint. And finally, resting on the wall next to one of the new Golden Vaults, you'll be able to find the Great Emperor blueprint for the FFAR. Personally, it's a bit of a bummer that it looks like there's nothing we can do to get these blueprints unlocked in our armory, but to have these static items around the map I think is actually a really cool addition and I hope we continue to see other sorts of things like this with future updates. I'd be keen to hear your thoughts on this down in the comments below. And also if you've got any questions at all, also feel free to leave those in the comments below as well and I'll do my best to help out where I can. Now if you found some value in this video, please make sure to leave a like on it, and if you're not already, then consider subscribing to the channel to keep up to date with my other Call of Duty related videos. Alright I'll catch you in the next one, you look after yourself, and take it easy.